Hi, in this session, we are going to run multi-group analysis for Smart PLS. Multi-group analysis is an option uh, which allow you to test if the predetermined defined data groups have significant differences in their group specific parameter estimates such as outer weights, outer loadings and path coefficients. So it allows you to divide your data set into two groups and it allows you to compare the differences in attitude and behavior of those groups. As we know that our data set consisted of uh, demographics of our respondents. So the respondents might differ on the basis of gender, age, education level or languages or income level. So uh, the nominal variables such as gender and uh, uh, lang mother language and the organization type and uh, uh, ordinary skills such as age level, education level and uh, income level. So uh, if you want to recognize or you want to identify what is the difference, what is the significant difference in the, in the attitude of these uh, respondents on the basis of demographics, you can use multi group analysis. First of all, you have to generate a data groups. Go to generate data. Suppose you, gen you have to generate uh, data on the basis of gender. Uh, comes to group columns. You have to find gender to unique values. Always remember you have when you will make your Excel sheet and you will transfer your data from your questionnaire. You have already decided that uh, what number you will give to the particular variable and the sub variable. Suppose for the gender, you have to make mutually exclusive events such as male or female. So in your Excel sheet, you must have given 0 or 1 to male and, and uh, 0 or 1 to female. So uh, likewise, if you have to select different age groups, uh, which are the ordinal scale, you can mark them, uh, if, if you have four age groups, you can mark the number as one, two, three, four. That's how you made your Excel sheet when you are transferring your data from your questionnaire. Now, if we, as we have transferred our data in the questionnaire in the Smart PLS, we have already known that we have two unique values for our gender, so click OK. And now it has it will be generated goes for you. Uh, there's an option for delete or edit. We want to edit it and we have to mention that zero stands for male. So just click here. White male. It's already showing that you have choose zero as a male. And uh, here's the option for the gender. There is option for all the variables. So one by one, if you want to divide the, your data set uh, for whole demographics, you can select income and language and religion and all other. Here there's option for equal to, higher than, lower than, between is not equal to. So it has allowed, it has given you many options. Now click OK. Let's see, it has changed the name. Now go to the other option and change it to female. As we had selected now, uh, female as one click ok likewise you can generate data groups for your age groups also suppose you have to generate data group for age go to the age there are four unique values there are four unique values for the age you will be leave the minimum cases at 10 and press ok Here again, you can edit this. For first age group, you can write 20 to 30 years. And uh, you can either make it equal to 1 or higher than or lower than or between or according to what you have mentioned in your Excel sheet while transfer your data from your questionnaire. Click OK. Now you can see that it has transferred the age group. Likewise, you can uh, edit the age group from 30 to 40, 31 to 40. Click OK. Edit the third one also. So there is an option for re-editing also. 41 to 50. Click OK. Now you can see that you have the options for age groups and for the gender also. Now, uh, first we have to run our uh, PLS algorithm. Let's go to PLS algorithm. Go to the calculation option. Press PLS algorithm. Now, here you can see that there is a rest of the things and set us. You will leave on default. 
go to data groups uh, and then select your data on the basis of which you want to identify the difference in uh, behavior of your respondents we will select gender as a number variable so start the calculation now let's see what happened with the model in the model this is the combined results where we can uh, see that there is a effect of significant effect of ed on we which is our dependent variable let's find out in the left side corner go to data growth we can see we want to see the behavior of the female now here you can see that the you can here you can see but for the female that the uh, significant path relationship or significant path estimate is a relationship between ED to WE. If you want to check for the male, go to male. And now here you can see that the significant difference uh, shows that the relationship GD to WE. So here it shows that there is a difference in attitude, a difference in responses of both male and female. Uh, now we will go for the multiple analysis. Go to multi group analysis. Here, uh, as you have already generated the data groups, so you have to uh, for group A, we will select male, and from group B, we will select female, and you can do vice versa. Also. And then just start the calculation. After the MG analysis, we've got uh, three, four type of results, which are PLS MGA. Parametric test, uh, Welch uh, satellite test, confidence interval bias corrected, and the bootstrapping results. First of all, we will go for the PLS MG results. This method is a non parametric significant test for the difference of group specific results that builds on PLS and bootstrapping results. And as a result, uh, uh, if result is significant at the 5% probability of error level, and um, uh, so in that case, if the p-values are less than 0.05 or greater than, than 0.95 for certain difference of group specific pad coefficients, then uh, we can understand that there is the difference in behavior of both of the groups in our data set. Let's see what the result in our PLS entry. It shows that if you will extend it further, it shows that uh, p-values male versus female. This value shows that uh, the relationship of AD to II is there is significant difference in the um, behavior of male versus female. Same is the case with the ED to SI relationship, but in the case of ED to W relationship, is the, as the values uh, is uh, uh, insignificant, we can say that there is insignificant difference between the behavior of male and female. Let's go for other parametric test. This uh, parametric test. Uh, assumes equal variance for uh, across the groups in our data set and uh, here it also shows that the significant values p values for male versus female and these are uh, green significant values shows that there is significant difference for these relationships while the insignificant values shows that there is insignificant relationship now come to uh, wall setter weight test wall uh, setter weight test also uh, shows uh, significant values but it uh, is also a parametric test but it assumes that there is unequal variance across groups uh, okay let's come to the bootstrapping results in bootstrapping results uh, let's make it within the frame the bootstrapping results shows you that the uh, relationships uh, are significant for female or uh, in or insignificant for females and males. Here it will show you the significant values for both male and female at five at level of 5000 sub samples. Here you can see that the, this relationship for AD to II is significant for female but insignificant for male. Same is the case for the ED to SI relationship which is significant for female but insignificant for male. In case of GD to SI you can see that the difference between uh, this uh, relationship is significant for female and also significant for males while in case of gd to we we can say that that this relationship is insignificant for both male and female but if you go for the pls and ga pls and will show that this if these values are significant it shows that these values there is significant difference between the behavior of male and female
so in that way you can uh, divide your data set into different type of groups uh, thank you thank you